course, it's now time for our health segment, and we are joined by our In Focus Health correspondent, Lino Madu. Uh, Lino, you know, you've covered so many stories for us over the, the year, but today is a, is a first. You're taking us inside a hospital operating room. That's right, Dimiake. Uh, we're looking at kidney transplantation, and it is a replacement of a non-working kidney uh, with a healthy kidney from another person. A doctor in Washington Hospital is giving his patients the gift of life by performing this life-saving surgery. Some of the images in this story may be graphic, so viewer discretion is advised. The kidneys. Very important organs in the human body with many functions. Among other things, they perform their life-sustaining job of removing waste products and excess fluid from the body through the urine. Chronic kidney disease is the loss of kidney function over time, and experts say in all nations, diabetes and hypertension are becoming its most common causes. Dr. Joseph Africa is a kidney transplant surgeon with the Washington Hospital Center. If you have diabetes or hypertension or both, and you don't manage them effectively, eventually that may lead to organ failure and one of the organs more commonly affected are the kidneys. Dr. Africa says other causes of kidney disease include infection or congenital abnormality. The National Institute of Health reports that 26 million American adults have chronic kidney disease. Around the world, the frequency of chronic kidney disease continues to increase each year. Dialysis and kidney transplant are the two options to prolong life for people whose kidneys have stopped working properly. Now when you're on dialysis, this is an artificial means of a machine working for your kidney. Whereas if you have a kidney transplant, it's almost like a normal process of a, nor a kidney actually doing the work for your failed kidneys. Dr. Africa says there are some risks associated with the procedure, as with all surgeries, but these risks are very low. The surgeon says the first step before considering a kidney transplant is a medical evaluation to ensure that the patient will tolerate the surgery. If they're good candidates for transplant, the next step is looking for a donor. Traditionally, we want to get a donor who has the same blood type and then who have compatible tissue types. Dr. Africa says with very effective medicine and interventions available now, doctors can also do transplant between patients who are not compatible in terms of blood type and tissue type. He says people can live a normal life with just one healthy kidney, and organ recipients are living much longer now thanks to medical improvements. There are two different types of transplant. A living donor transplant, when a person willingly decides to give its organ, and a cadaver transplant, when the organ is removed from a dead person. Today, we will look at a living donor transplant from a son to his father. Michael Robinson is donating a kidney to his father. He is placed under general anesthesia, and his kidney is removed laparoscopically with a camera placed in the abdomen to monitor the surgery. The medical team prepares the healthy kidney for transplant. The new kidneys, artery and vein, are connected and the ureter is attached to the bladder. We met Michael a few days after surgery. Um, I'm good. I, I was saying we both got discharged that day early. Michael says donating a kidney to his father was not a difficult decision for him. I made the decision pretty quickly because I have two children and, and for me the most important thing was knowing that he's going to be around to, to spend time with his grandchildren. Yeah. Although the success rates of kidney transplant surgery have improved remarkably over the years, there are shortages of organs available for transplantation. Each year only a small percentage of people who need a transplant actually receive a kidney. Dr. Africa says kidney transplant surgery still remains limited in sub-Saharan Africa, partly because of the lack of education and awareness about the surgery as well as the lack of resources. I have to say it was incredible to watch this surgery live. Every day these doctors perform miracles. Dimiake? Incredible. Thank you so much, Leno. Obviously, you're taking things to a higher, higher level. <laughs> of course, that's Leno Madu. Joins us every Tuesday and Thursday right here on In Focus and always has the most exciting health news.